Here we go. It's time. Yes, it is absolutely time. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. It's Abdallah here bringing you guys episode one of Pikmin 3 Deluxe on Nintendo Switch. We're going to be playing with the detached Joy-Con controllers because it's going to be a little bit different than what we've played on Nintendo Wii U. Now, believe it or not, I've actually done a full walkthrough of Pikmin 3 Deluxe like six, six years ago, something like that. Anyway, if you guys are curious about what Pikmin 3 is all about, you can go over to the Nintendo eShop and you can download the Pikmin 3 Deluxe demo for free. You can mess around with it, see if that's your kind of game. And then of course, continue watching the videos with me where I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we need to do in all the levels. It's gonna be a great time, thanks so much for coming. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's make this a 100% walkthrough. That means that we gotta get all the fruits, all the little suit upgrades, and just overall have a great time. So I'm thinking for structure with this live stream, we will be doing maybe about two, I think like at least three to four days. How about that? Now the, the game is segmented into days because we're gonna be crash landing on the planet and then the sun is going to rise and the sun is going to set. We gotta hide by the time the sun sets. So. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So stay tuned. Each of the days is like about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So I think this will be really fun to just jump into this game again. So anyway, let's see some Pikmin hype in the chat. I'm really excited for it. Uh, side stories I really want to take a look at soon. Um, it's unlocked after a certain po point of the story mode. So let's just breeze through the story mode. And then let's go uh, get those side stories, shall we? Anyway, again, playing with detached Joy-Con controllers because there is a there's a functionality within the game that you can uh, jump in. You could jump in and like actually use the pointer to kind of move. So that's kind of fun. So we're gonna go over here to other settings. I'm gonna go gyro. We're gonna turn that on, and then I'm gonna do cursor control is gonna be based off the pointer. Um, I would honestly recommend this uh, for any of you guys that are on board. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna go on normal. I mean, there's really no, I'm not going to, I'm not here to challenge myself. And at the same time, I don't remember anything from like six years ago. So this is going to be like pseudo blind here. Anyway, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. The planet's name? Tofi. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and the basic lack of planning. Gotta get some coffee, man. Inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. Kofi's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Can you name all those three uh, explorers? Do you guys know them? I remember them. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light-year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Dang, how did they survive? Pikmin 3 Deluxe, let's go. All right, that's absolutely correct. That is Alf, Charlie, and Brittany. All right, exploration day one, Charlie's crash site. So this is fun. This is going to be uh, exactly what you can play in the demo. So we're going to go through this, and we're going to then see what's after the demo part. So excited. Hello, babies. <laughs> My yellow children, hi. Okay, so this is Charlie. He's, um... He's a character. I'm not going to spoil anything, but he's a character for sure. Uh, the last thing I remember was, oh, of course, this must be PNF 404. What do you guys think PNF stands for? Uh, something in my mind is telling me planet not found 404. Kind of like one of those 404 errors you see on the internet. 
But anyway, Charlie to ship, Charlie to ship, do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? Captain Charlie, hi. I'm gonna get my hair cut like that. I'm gonna shave the sides. Shave almost the top and then just do like a little strip of hair and then I'll grow out two little mustaches like that. Would that be fun? I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Okay, move the control stick with L. Beautiful. So uh, here we go. This is hints. If you're stuck in the story mode, press uh, view to view hints and you're all good. Hi, guys. Oh, look, they're just watching. <laughs> These little Pikmin are like, yo, what the heck is this weird thing? There are more of them. This planet's mushrooms are huge. And look, it's like a can of tuna or something like that. Uh-oh. It seems to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? Alright, so you can press the B button to whistle. I'm surrounded. And now you can throw them. So again, like, I'm using the, um, the controller. You can actually press the R button to, um, like, re-adjust where you want to throw these guys. So I'm just like, I'm literally just sitting back over here, like, throwing these things. This is good. So you can throw them anywhere. So just sit back, aim over here. If your cursor feels a little off, you can press the R button. And you're all set, man. This is the best. This is the ideal controls, at least in my opinion. So let me get this straight. Uh, I can round at these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B and then throwing them with A. Okay, that's it. Take aim of the cursor and then throw. Because this control scheme was not something that you could do in the uh, the entirety of Nintendo Wii U. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to backtrack over here just to get a couple more of these dudes. And then uh, I think we should be all set. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Okay. Yeah, we got 20 of them. 20 should be good. And then we're going to move around like this. This is great. All right, yeah, let's go. So, in case you guys have never played a Pikmin game before, Pikmin game is, uh, it's all about micromanaging. And managing your time effectively. So, if you notice, uh, a little bit later on, if you notice a little bit later on, we'll be, um, trying to manage all of our little Pikmin to do little tasks so that we can do other tasks along the way. It'll be really fun. Alright, so that's too hard to break. I can't mess around with that. You can use the control stick to um, look exactly behind you. You can press ZL to look behind you. Or the other control stick to pretty much move all of your um, your, your camera. They're still following me. Okay. They are still following me. Good job. Oh, nice. Okay, so now we can go over here and like destroy these dudes. <laughs> okay, I need to find out how to like rapid fire or like charge everyone. There's there's a way to do that, right? You guys are gonna have to let me know. <laughs> because you don't necessarily want um, your Pikmin to like wait around for an enemy to eat you. There's There's a charge functionality, so I'll figure that out soon. All right, here's our boy, Alf. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Oh my gosh, Christina. I should totally rock that hairstyle and a stash. No, never. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, though. Maybe for Halloween. Get a bald cap. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Okay, so again, the tutorial is going to continue on here. This is going to be interesting because not only are we going to be looking around for Pikmin, but we're going to be finding a new species of Pikmin, which is the Red Pikmin. Steven! Uh, that's what I call the Red Pikmin. His name is Steven. Actually, Enzo calls him Steven, believe it or not. Um, I have a funny story, and I'll tell you that in a little bit. 
I'll tell you about my funny story about Enzo and Steven in a little bit. You guys want to hear it? Let me know. It's a very funny story, and some of you guys already know it. Uh, it's the creature I saw just now. Uh, it looks like it's got friends. So these Pikmin are wondering about what's going on, and what's that stuck in that branch? Okay, so I'm going to whistle over here, I'm going to lock on, and then I'm going to throw. Yeah, the lock on feature is actually pretty cool. So this is the onion. It's, uh, it doesn't really look like an onion. I mean, maybe. I was hoping that was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellow seems quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for these two missing... Oh, yes. Okay, anyway. Face forward to ZL and, uh, yes, use that. So we can look around. Beautiful. Alright, what's up, kids? It's me! Okay, so, as we can see over here, now we're gonna do a little bit of multitasking. Um, I am going to, hopefully, uh, put these guys over here. So they're going to grab these three things over here, and they're gonna start building a bridge. And I really want to find out how I'm going to get more Pikmin. Hey, what's up, guys? I got one more that I found. So if we throw all of the dudes over here, we just have to chill for a little bit. While those guys are working that. Too high, you can't go back. So they're building a bridge, you can see that how smart they are. They're just running across, we need eight more little pieces here, but we have four of them. So a couple more trips, and then they should be done with that. I was hoping there'd be more guys floating around. But we can't do it yet. Is there not another dude? Like, sometimes whistling over here, you might find some little friends. But that's okay. Alright, here we go. That's the last ones. Last ones right over here. I'm excited. Let's go. Do, 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 do. The bridge is almost built. Done! Little children! My red boys. Alright, red boys, come back. Come on, let's go. Oh, and you guys can see these little pellets too. And the coat pad. Alright, it's the coat pad. Alright, thank goodness I found it. You can use it to locate the SS Drake. That's good. Somehow it survived the orbit falling down, and it's here. And it's floating. So maybe that's why. It's got some anti-gravity. Alright, here we go. Great. It still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from the Copai Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. So this is good. To check your surroundings, you can see that. And then you can kind of uh, zoom in over here and see exactly what's going on. Remember, we started over here, we went down this bridge, there's the onion, there's another bridge, and then there's something over here, there's three things. And then it looks like there's a 20 box, and then maybe um, um, some sort of weird area, and then there's the ship, the SS Drake. Maybe the other two crew members are there. Like, this map is really good. This is a, a very, very good game. It's the best game you've never played. Okay. So use the radar to check the map, use the camera to take photos. I'm not going to be taking any photos, but I'm going to be okay. Anyway, so we're going to lock onto these, we're going to launch one, I'm going to lock onto this, launch one, and then, oops. Okay, so that's one Pikmin that's going to do it. Let me, let me go back. Stop locking on. So, you can see over here that as soon as you throw um, a Pikmin on that, they're going to take this pellet all the way back to the base. And the pellet will allow for even more Pikmin to get generated from the pellet. And the pellet depends on what coloration the Pikmin brings it back to the specific colored base. So you can see over here that since we brought a red pellet to the red onion, we are now able to... Oh gosh. I don't have any Pikmin. Ah, they're all away. Ah, let's go. I thought I had more. No, no, no. I may not have. So anyway. So since we brought the red Pikmin back to the red base with the red pellets, we now have the ability to pick up even more... Pikmin from the ground. So you really always want to align up, like take the blue Pikmin's little pellet to the blue base, the yellow with the yellow base, etc, etc. So you get even more Pikmin. So right now I'm going to be plucking each of these guys. Now plucking, you press the A button once and then you, you automatically pluck everything that's available. And then you're all set. So I also have to find out how to charge. I need to do that now. Like because these little guys are out of here. Get him, boys! 
<clears throat> okay, beautiful. So they're gonna take those carcasses back. I'm gonna actually lock onto this and toss a dude. <clears throat> We're gonna not lock on here, and then we need five. I have five here. Wow, this is this one's huge. So you're gonna need five Pikmin, and luckily for us, we had exactly five. So this is good. You press the X button to charge. Thank you so much. I'll take a look. So, again, it's multi uh, micromanaging. So, now that we're here, we can pluck these guys out. And while those other guys are bringing that five pellet back, we can just simply come over. We can grab these guys, and then they should be coming. Even though it says five out of five, we can give them even more. Just so they walk a little bit faster. So, that's kind of one of the things with multitasking with this game that you guys are really going to enjoy. It's like, alright, I got those guys doing that thing. I need to bring these guys to go this doing this thing. And then these guys are going to go do that, and then wait a second, I need five more guys for this, let's go get those guys, like, there's a lot of multitasking, and, like, if you're, if you're a big fan of, like, optimizations, and doing things, like, absolutely the fastest possible, this game is really, really going to be for you. So anyway, I'm going to lock on, I'm going to press X to charge, thank you again for the, the tip over there. Um, pressing X to charge allows all of the Pikmin to go over here, we needed 20 of those guys to push this box. But I had 21, so I'm good. What's that? It looks like someone's left data files here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. Okay, Pikminology. Uh, the onion is a nest for the Pikmin. It both, uh, gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Alright, cool. Excellent. The copad can read the data file, so these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the copad's exploration notes. Okay, wonderful. So now we've installed the little hint screen, right? Yeah, exploration notes. Looks like an SD card, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so good job, kids. Uh, could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? I don't know, man. There absolutely could, so let's move around here and see what's up. According to the radar, the drake should be through here. So let's go inside, and let's continue exploring, shall we? Here's another hint. This one is using the radar. You can see the orientation. All right, well, I mean, I'm good. Those are massive, but they don't look edible. So we can beat up these things. I don't know if there's any point to doing so, to be honest. Maybe we'll get, like, a Pikmin or something? I don't know. It seems like there was no point. All right, here's a sandcastle. Let's go charge it. Oh, I'm so excited for this game. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? There we go. So the game teaches you how to do a charge attack. There we go. So that, like, in case you didn't know. In case you didn't have a comment section to bail you out on how to remind you how to do that. You can now just do it. Now, one of the attributes about Pikmin, some of you guys may be curious about, is, like, what is the difference between the colors? Right? Each of the Pikmin have their own attributes and special abilities, which is so cool. So the red Pikmin are immune to fire, and they're a lot stronger than the rest of the Pikmin. So when they're out there battling and doing damage, they're going to be very, very strong. And then the yellow Pikmin are resistant to electricity, and when you throw them, they're a little bit lighter, so you can throw them a little higher. So anyway, we'll cross the bridge when we get there with the other color Pikmin. It should be really good. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. You guys are great. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know what you're supposed to do now. What if, I'm too busy talking and explaining this game. Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starve. Okay, oh gosh. Brittany, I cannot allow you to starve. I will protect you with every ounce in my body. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. Was that, was that your stomach, dude? This, oh, okay, it's not his stomach. It's actually the monsters. Which could mean nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Yo, what about the Pikmin? Wait a second, you can fly? What about your 21 buddies? 
<laughs> He's just like, I'm out of here, man. I heard some rustling in the bushes. I'm gone. <laughs> I was like, see ya. I don't care about these. Oh, never mind. There's the little red thing. So as long as the Pikmin are in your control, the Pikmin survive. Most of the pl supplies we brought with us from, from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing, so we now only have three days worth of edible provisions. So now he's gonna eat that stuff, and then we only have two days worth of food. If you don't find the food, you're going to lose the game. So anyway, that's day one, A hey. New Horizons, look at these little achievements. Review your replay and fine tune your strategy. That's actually kind of cool. So you can kind of look and see what you did and like optimize it accordingly. That's fun. All right, we're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off uh, in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. And the Onion's flying along with, too. So that's... Our 21 buddies are inside the Onion. Don't worry. We didn't abandon them. Do, 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 do. Exploration. Day two. What happened to Charlie, right? We just left him high and dry. All right, the Garden of Hope. Let's go, PNF 404, Garden of Hope. Is this uh, the continent of Australia? <laughs> Just kidding. I've tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. Uh, that would be very, very bad. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything else. We're going to land over here. And then hopefully find Brittany. Brittany is the best. I don't know. Who do you guys like out of the three of them? If you guys have played or at least seen my playthrough of Wii U version of Pikmin 3. Um, I think it's a toss-up between Alf and Brittany. That's really it. I think Charlie's just dismissed, man. Like, nah. <laughs> We're done with that. Uh, Brittany should be around here somewhere. We're running out of food. So I better find her before it's too late. All right, remember, we have now the day cycle shows up. So it looks like the onion has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? All right, call and return Pikmin. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to bring every single one of them out. And 21 in the field. Let's go. What's up, boys? What's up, Steven? Oh, I was going to tell you a story about Steven. All right, let me tell you the story about Steven in a little bit. Oh, that's right. The data I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. I'll press A under the onion to take out Pikmin. I'm going to install an application on the copad that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. That's great, man. I'm glad that you got signal in order to do that. All right, like, how does that work? Pikmin info. All right, here we go. All right, so we're back. I'm going to throw one here. I'm going to throw, let's see, anything else that we need to do? I'm going to beat up this bulb orb. I need 15 of these guys here. Uh, we should have extras. Okay, you're good. You need three for this bulb orb, and then we need two for these. Alright, that's beautiful. That's really good. Alright, press X to charge. Thanks, you told me that twice. But we're good. Um, anyway, so Pikmin and Steven. So, here's a funny story about Steven. Is that when Enzo was a baby, and Enzo's my cat. He's my little gray cat. When he was a baby, I have a Pikmin plush. And uh, since I have a Pikmin plush, he was like a red Pikmin. And what had happened was I would I would find this red Pikmin plush oddly moved from where I left it off. I put it on a shelf and then it would be like on the ground like 20 feet away, right? So I'd be like, how in the world is this little red Pikmin plush moving? So... I was curious about that. I'm like, what is going on? How is this plush moving from area to area? And then I'd pick him up and I'd put him back on the shelf. And then out of nowhere, the next day he would move again. And I'm like, dude, like what's going on here? This is really weird. Um, so like, what, 
So then, after a while, the only cat that hung out in the basement was Enzo. So we just assumed that Enzo was really, really attached to Steven, the red Pikmin. And then he pretty much took him off there, like grabbed him with his mouth and like played with him. It's really weird. Anyway, so uh, we got some nectar over here. I didn't really show you guys what nectar was, but we can come over and like lock on and charge the nectar. And then all these little Pikmin are going to enjoy sipping up the nectar, and then they're going to get a lot stronger. So as Pikmin develop, they get faster, they grow a le uh, from leaf to bud to flower. And then this is pretty much fast tracking them so that they're all ready to go. All right, so we're building this bridge. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna get this Pikmin Algae 14. Once they're done transporting fragments, they will return to the original location of the fragments. So this is good. So we grab some fragments. I'm gonna charge this really quick so we get any other Pikmin that are, are not blossomed. And then I'm gonna pluck these guys and then we should be all ready to go. All right, boys, let's go. We got 33 on the field now. This is looking good. Uh, we need to go somewhere. Oh, did we make a new bridge? Yeah, I think we made a new bridge. Let's go take a look over here. Yeah, yeah, they, they made a new bridge. Oh my gosh, y'all ready for this? All right, here we go. Big ball borb. It's asleep. I don't care. Get him, boys! Oh my gosh, don't get eaten! Steven! Oh, good. <laughs> oh my god. All right, anyway. Get him, boys. All right, Steven, he calls. Anyway, when when the going gets tough, retreat to a hiding place and wait for an opportunity. Nah, we're good. All right, attack from behind to gain advantage. Ah, I'm all right. All right, everyone's gonna charge over here. Those 10 boys are going to bring the giant Bulbor back, and then we're gonna get some more Pikmin from that. And I should have grabbed two for these guys, dang it. All right, here we go. I'm going to throw one here, we're gonna throw one here, and then those guys can bring those pellets to the back. These guys are doing that work, and this is fine. We got an electric fence over here. What's up, King Tom Nook? Good, see good to see you. Thanks so much. All right, Brittany's right over here with the Sakura petals. Wonderful. Oh no, Brittany's just lying there. I hope I'm not too late. Pick up, Brittany, pick up. Please still be alive. Please still be alive. Oh, you are, good. You're just kind of hungry. Alf, sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. So you're close by? Why wasn't I moving, you ask? Huh, well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? I will. I'm actually on my way. I could go back to where we were, but I want to see if I can multitask something else. There's a piece of fruit. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, this, if this is really fruit, then it's a major discovery. I'd like to analyze it at the Drake, uh, but how can I move it? Okay, so those guys are going to carry that to the back. Uh, there's a narrow pathway over here. Oh, it's a cave. Okay, Red Pikmin 2. Red Pikmin are good fighters. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the Drake. But we need to find a way around. But I'm going to need my entire team. So let's go do this. So they're bringing that to the back. I have a whole bunch of Pikmin that are waiting for me to get plucked. And then we're on our way. So while they do that, I'm going to do a little pluckage. And then we're set, man. Strawberry recovering. Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. What's the message? It's a strawberry. Analyzing with an S. <laughs> Analyzing. Really? That's how you spell it in certain areas of the world. It's a sun seed berry. Wonderful. So now we had one provision made out of it. Large quantities of Pictamin U detected. This is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on Kopai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. 
Okay, so we literally got ourselves one more day of survivability. I'll add fruit file to the copad where we can store the results of our analysis. Strawberries in the chat, yeah? <laughs> There's actually an emote for that. Wow. Okay, well, I'm in the middle of plucking over here. I'm gonna pluck all these kids out, and then we are ready to go. You guys ready? Let's go. Here's a pigment file that just showed up. Okay, Dwarf Bulbarb, aim for its back for victory. I will, I will remember that next time. Okay, let's head out. Heading out is this way. And we can take a look at that on the map, and we can see exactly where we have to go. So we have 46 of these Pikmin in our squad right now. I think it's safe to say that we can go inside the cave. And then once we go inside the cave, we should be able to rescue Brit. Ah, <laughs> 46 Stevens. All right, here we go. Ah, this one's gonna be fun. Ooh, how are we gonna break these little crystals? I'm curious. What is that thing? Oh no! All right, bring them down, boys. Yo, what are these? Apparently, they're rock Pikmin. Welcome to the team, Rockies. All right, are these cre creatures Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look. Look at them just like run. Do they want to break it? Yeah, let's go. Break it, dude. Here. All right, so they're very strong because they're made out of rock and then any kind of crystals you can just easily break and then have a field day with it. I love it. So their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L. Okay, let's do it. And when I want to split them up by type, I'll use Y to dismiss the squad. Split them up with L. Dismiss the squad. Okay, I need to learn this. Dismiss your squad with Y, and then the Pikmin will sort themselves into different color groups. All right. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, yeah, take that. Oh, man, I thought we had to fight really quick. Okay, that was good. Okay, rock Pikmin are very hard, like rocks. Oh, good to know. Great. Thank you. I needed that hint, absolutely. Just in case. In case you didn't know, rock Pikmin are hard like rocks. Good, good, good. All right, so... Press Y to dismiss. There we go. Look at this. So you can grab all of these in your squad. Press Y to dismiss them and then down. And then you can pick and choose. All right, so I want these guys. You can charge that. And then you guys will pick up the pellets. You guys got it? I thought you were smart. Come on, get this. Okay, you take that back. And then we're going to lock onto this. We're going to charge that. Boom. One of you guys is going to take that. Beautifully done. No, no, keep going, keep going. You're good. And then we're going to charge this. Keep going. Keep attacking that. I'm going to go pluck while you guys figure that out. All right. <laughs> so this is good. We're building an army. We're building an army of rocks and reds right now. Alf is the king of Pikmin. He's got the best ones. All right. We good here? Let's go, team. 68 in the squad. This is going to be Pikminology 4. New sprouts will be the same color as the Pikmin that retrieve the pellet or creature, as we talked about before. So let's go. So L, I want to find out again what L does. I want to do that real quick. Oh, you switch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you just switch. Interesting. Beautiful. All right, Brittany, we're coming. We're on our way. All right, we're going to switch uh, reds. And then we're all going to charge this stuff. And then we're gonna charge that. Why are reds? I thought I picked that. Okay, never mind. Okay, whatever. Beautiful. I got you, Brittany. <laughs> Hello, Brittany, it's me. Whew, I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm fed up. Uh, of sleeping rough, and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? What's that you say? They're called Pikmin? They're cute. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alf. 
Oh, lemon. Oh, let's work together and nab that huge piece of fruit. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay. So throw... <laughs> Alright, so you throw Brittany over there. Literally, somehow, you can pick up this grown per um, person. Okay, switch. Uh, press Y to open the menu and switch leaders. There's not a hot swap button? Oh, there is. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Yo, teamwork makes the dream work. Let's go. Good job. Can I steal your Pikmin? Oh, I can. And I can steal Alf. I'm sorry. Keep going. Alright, so they all ate that. Let's continue here. So those guys are going to take that to the back. And then we're going to just continue on. Uh, the Copad Raider to align with your destination and select go here to start moving. Whoa. Okay, let's go. How strange to find such a data file. Come to think of it, the radar did have a go here feature. We should try it out soon. It seems like it'd be helpful if we decide to split up in multiple squads. Absolutely it does. Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, we're going to do L. Lock onto that. Lock onto that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. L for this one. Uh-huh. And then we're going to do five of these guys. It's a, oh, it changes colors. It, the, yeah, these things change color, so we're not going to do that. Okay, so five of those guys are coming here. We do have to beat these fools up. So that's good. Alright, and then you guys are going to have to take that. I don't know what happens with these crystals, but we can break them. We've got a little bit of nectar over here, which is good. You guys can sip that up. 25ers. So let's lock onto this and charge whatever we have. And then while we're multitasking over here, I kind of want to allow Alf to go back to the ship. And if Alf is at the ship, I should be fine. Pressing the copad with minus. I can also say, like, go here. Okay, so, oh, never mind. The ship's, like, literally right in front of us because we went full circle all the way around. So we don't have to worry about that now. They're just taking the really, really long way. And, I mean, that's fine. Whatever. All right, anyway, so now that I got a couple of these guys, let's see. We got eight of these. Let's, um, let's break it. And then there's a strawberry, too. All right, and then we can charge this. You good? Go ahead, charge. Oh, I can't charge him. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, take that. So this is interesting. The teammates did the long way because the bridge wasn't available yet. So bridge is pretty much done. And then we'll actually take a look. We're about halfway through our day too. So like, all right, these guys got stuck. All right, you got to make sure that we're all good. We've got a lot of Pikmin in the field, man. I don't want to abandon any. You, you guys, come on, man. <laughs> a no child left behind, man. Eat this. Okay, so no child left behind. Uh, we now have a shortcut all the way to the back. And then now we can break the glass. Yes, we can. Uh, let's do this. Charge that. I'll go over here and start plucking these guys. And then I can swap. Oh, we're plucking together. Okay, that's fine. And then there's our strawberry. We're good. So one of the things that I'm going to need to learn about is how... How am I... Where am I missing Pikmin? Oh, no. Where did they get stuck? I got 64 in the squad. Oh, no. I don't have time to micromanage these babies. Uh-oh. I need to look at the coat pad and see where we left them, yeah? Yeah. I'm wasting time trying to get these kids. Where do they go? What's this? All right, I'm going to say go here. Hold on, shatter the crystal wall. How do I hot swap characters again? Can you guys tell me that? There's obviously a go here for one character. Oh, I think I have to separate. Like, throw you over there, and then I have to go to the coat pad... 
if I separate these guys and say um, press Y to go to Alf and then go to minus, like I'll learn how to do this really on the fly. So I'm going to tell Alf to pretty much go here. And then I'm going to press Y and then switch to Brittany. While he's going there, I'm going to go find the rest of my kids. Because everyone's like lost now. I lost 20 of them somewhere. <laughs> Dude, you gotta know where your kids are, man, at all times. Okay, he's here awaiting orders. I'm just gonna look around and see where everyone kind of went. But I'm wasting mad time right now and I can't afford that. Ugh. Dude, they, they probably reported back to somewhere that I didn't want them to report back to, so yeah. And we're not going to leave them behind. I wish I can kind of see where they went. Yeah, I want to say they're going to be inside this cave somewhere. I don't know why, but I'm getting that feeling. And like, see, this is what you don't want to do. Like, when you're out here multitasking... Oh, I just went in a circle. My bad. Oh, that's not good. When you're out here multitasking... Where's the... You don't... What you don't want to do is... You don't want to lose track of your dudes. Because remember, they will go back to exactly where you gave them the order. So if you're moving ahead... Yeah, no, don't do that. Anyway, so I've got maybe one-fourth of the day left. So let's go inside this cave, let's see where they went, and hopefully... Did they not go in the cave? Yes, they did. Oh, here we go. So they were just chilling out right by the onion, but like, that's not where everyone is. Okay, here we go, here we go. They were just chilling out by this onion. Ah, I see, I see, okay. We're good now. So, what I, I guess what I could have done was I could have given Alf half of my Pikmin. And then I could have just searched for this area with Brittany alone and then come back. So this is what I'm talking about with like multitasking and optimizations. Like I wasted a lot of time bringing my entire squad all the way halfway across the map when I could have been starting this new work with Alf over here. So anyway, I digress. Whatever, we got this. Let's do some work. Okay, uh, now what could this be? The radar is picking something up. Oh, the radar is detecting a signal of some sort. Maybe it's a new type of food. Alright, I don't know if we're going to do it within this day, though. Let's go and look right away. Alright, so we're right here. I see the fl the fire dude. So we're going to... Uh, I'm going to whistle separate. I'm going to take... Alright, we're going to take the fire guys and the black... Uh, a rock pigment, and I'm going to pound on these guys. Now, remember, the red pigment are fire resistant. So we can easily just throw them over here and do the work and allow them to continue up. Okay, so this one's going to be pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to have to throw Alf overboard. We're going to give him a whole bunch of pigment to build a bridge backwards. Ask Alf to join the squad, move the cursor, and then press the B button. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, move the cursor to your target. ZR, lock on, throw non-stop. Alright, anyway, so we're gonna go over here, throwing Alf across. Oh, sorry, dude. Threw him right into a wall. Beautiful. And then... So you take a whole bunch of dudes. And then we hold Y. You can take them all, whatever. Hold Y, switch over to Alf, and then now that we have Alf, we should be able to charge this. And then I'll keep a couple of these guys. No, I won't. You guys come back here. Okay, beautiful. So they built the bridge. We're gonna do this. We can easily, like, charge into this to make our Pikmin, like, stronger. Did you guys build it? Oh, we're not done yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, here we go. This is a more uh, bigger area that we can charge these guys for. Okay, so now while we're doing that, I'm going to switch over to Brittany. I'm going to see exactly what Brittany's up to. Oh, we got all these rock Pikmin over here just chilling. And then I'm going to lock on. I'm going to throw these guys. 
This is definitely something where I need red Pikmin for, so I'm not going to bring this pellet yet. But I will do this. We're going to separate. And I'm going to take reds. Uh, and you're going to do this. All six of you guys take that. And then while we're done with that, we should be able to have these Rockies help out by launching them right across here. And then switching over to Alf. And Alf should have the ability to do this. Charge. Okay. This is good. We're getting the hang of things. And you guys can inhale that. So I like this. I like this a lot. So here we go. The onion stops spitting out seeds. Uh-huh. You think we're maxed out? But the Pikmin inside the onion still seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, once the number of Pikmin in the field reaches 100, any new Pikmin will stay inside the onion. This means that a maximum amount of 100 Pikmin can be active outside the onion at any one time. Okay, there's a limit. Cool. So now we know about the limit. Push it to the limit. Uh, and then we're good. Did we build the bridge? I think one more and then the, build is the, the, the bridge is built. Okay, Wonder Bar. Why don't we do this? We're gonna charge this with 25 of you guys. I don't think we need any more. <clears throat> I wanna see Brittany and her team. Let's uh, let's do Brittany and her team. We should be all set. What's up, Destiny? Thank you so much, welcome. It'll be sundown before too long. Alf, didn't you mention that nocturnal predators will attack any stray Pikmin? It looks like the Pikmin in the area of the nest thing we call an onion can get back on their own, though. That's good. Okay, make sure the Pikmin in your squad are close to the onion or all others will perish. This means, again, no child left behind. We can't allow any of our kids to, unfortunately, be outside of that area. So I'll make sure that when you press the A button near the SS Drake, the whistle sound will call the Pikmin back. Okay, good. So we got a lot in the field. <clears throat> We do, we have to keep on going. We have to keep pressing. You over here, come with. Okay, there's also a new cave right over here. Oh, I'm excited to see what's going on. The signal seems like it's coming from over there. Everyone attack! Okay, just making sure that there's no other Pikmin that are left behind here. We got a lot in the field. It's very deceptive. It says that there's a hundred, but, like, we need to go. Okay, can we do it? What? What's up, Jenna? Uh, what is this data file doing all the way out here? Let's pick it up. It says, it's tough to say how many days I've been on this planet. I hope everyone back on Hoko Tate is doing well. I'll have to smuggle back some treasure in my pocket to give to my son as a souvenir from Captain Olimar. Captain Olimar? There's another captain who's been through here? And he's from Hokote. People from their planet go to such extremes to scavenge treasure. Maybe it's all the vegetables they eat that makes them uh, so treasure crazy. Well, uh, sad to say, it looks like Olimar met his end up ahead. We better be careful. Captain Olimar! So, Olimar is our, our first little captain from the first Pikmin game. Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. So, anyway, let's do some work. I don't have a full squad. So, we're going into this boss battle without a full squad. Let's see how, how good we can do. I'm really hoping that we get some work done. Okay, Armored Maw Dad. Its exoskeleton is made as made of crystal. Use some rock Pikmin to smash it. Oh my, I got owned. Come on back, kids. Gather round, gather round. Okay, it's soft on the inside. Get him, boys! Oh no, he took one! He took I, I don't know if he took one and we lost the kid or what. But we better watch it, man. Keep away! Okay, good. Okay, don't worry, we got this. You in the back. 
And I only have a couple seconds left. I can't afford to lose. What's the 10 seconds? Oh, the cliffhanger. I don't think I can get this fruit or the telephone. Oh, no. It's all because I wasted time backtracking. I could have done it. If this is where that signal is coming from, then that means we still don't know where the captain is. Okay, then. Uh, well, for now, we'll take this uh, back to the Drake for analysis. This could be useful. Well, I need to make sure that all my teammates are here. 57 in the field. Um, yeah, I can't touch any of this stuff. We're gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna have to beat this guy again. But... That's it. <laughs> alright, alright. Um, let's see. And the day is over. I hope I didn't abandon any kids, man. <laughs> I hope I didn't abandon anyone. Honestly. But that's okay, you know what? It's inevitable. Pikmin will become the food source. See the bulborbs? Like, the bulborbs need to eat too. It's just part of the ecosystem. It's the, it's the circle of life. You can't feel bad about it. And don't guilt trip me either. <laughs> anyway, so that's day two. Wow, what do you guys say? Should we do another day? Would you guys like that? Another day. Wow, they merged. Well, well, so two onions can combine into one. Very interesting, I'll have to make a note of this. Let's analyze the other fruit too. It's called the Face Wrinkler. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of weird, like, silly names. Because they're obviously, like, new to this planet. They don't know that that's called a lemon. So it's called the Face Wrinkler because, like, it's so sour that you're just like, Bleh. Sunseed Berry. And we got another Strawberry. So that's good. Check out how many provisions we have right now. I'll ration out the food supply. Alf can make do with a slightly smaller portion. <laughs> How dare you skimp out on Alf who saved you. Give him the most food. Feed my child. Uh, it's good to build our juice supply like this. We should be alright for a little while. Okay, so there's day two. Uh, we got a lot of Pikmin. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Ooh, excellent, excellent. I need more rock Pikmin. Thanks to the rock Pikmin, we managed to defeat the giant creature. We found a mysterious communication device inside its belly. I'm unsure of its origins, but my keen engineer eye says it's from an advanced civilization. I'll see if I can confirm this once I get back to the SS Drake. Yo, civilization spelled with an S? Interesting to me. You can now fight the armored Maudad in the defeat bosses mission. Cute. All right, so you guys say that you want to do another day, right? I'll do another day if you guys want it. All right, let's go. Welcome back. It's me with even more Pikmin 3. Let's jump in. Uh, we got a couple more uh, things over here in uh, Garden of Hope. Let's go land inside there. I don't know what else there is, but I don't have any yellow Pikmin. I have a feeling that we do need to waste a day over here just to get our stuff. Um, recover the device. We got four juices left. I'll take out a whole bunch of Pikmin. We can get more Pikmin. Alright, let's pluck these dudes. And then I'm going to... I kind of wanted to split up, split her up. So, like, I'm just going to throw over here and then I'm going to pluck. No! Okay, yeah, you're going to pluck. You're going to pluck for me. Pluck for me, baby. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm going to need all y'all. Actually, I don't need that many. I don't need that many reds. Let's go, like, this many. Actually, you know what? We're gonna take everyone. I don't care. Alright, so... I'm going to do one thing. We're gonna separate. I'm gonna separate. Hold on. Separate, dude. And then you can... You can stop following me. I'm gonna take some of you. 
Not all of them. Okay, fine. You know what? You take that and you take a little bit of these guys. Beautiful. And then now I'm going to switch over to Brittany. I'm going to then click minus. I'm going to tell... I'm sorry. Uh... No! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Get back here, kids. Yo, everybody in the pool. I need to blow the whistle to get the pigment over here. I just told them to go run and take a bath. Yeah, you don't take, you don't tell these kids to take a bath. All right, I'm trying to actually do something here. Alf, minus. Alf, you need to go to the boss area. The boss area was here. Okay, you go there. I'm gonna take uh, Brittany now. Okay, so now that those guys are doing that, Brittany and I are going to come over here and we're going to attempt to take a look at some other stuff. We're going to start doing some of these. So you guys can do that. We almost lost some children, man. I mean, we've got some pellets to work on. It's fine. Like, there's really nothing to worry about here. She's just got to do some other little stuff that might help out the team. All right, drink up, little pickies. Get over here. All right. <laughs> Almost drowned those kids, man. What? What in the actual? Oh, yeah, get ready. All right, rock Pikmin. They aren't crushed when trampled on. That's okay. I don't have any rock Pikmin. Get them, boys. Yeah. Get him! Nice! Oh, I love it. Alright, uh, it can't jump when it's weighed down with Pikmin. Hmm. Cool. Oh gosh, help! I said, oh gosh, help. That's funny. Can I beat this thing up? It's in the water. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, so those guys are doing that work. I'm gonna go see what Alf is doing. Oh, hey, you didn't tell me that you were ready, dude. 20, f how many do I need of this? 15. Okay, great. Oh man, we may need, we may need more, 10 more. And then I got 28. Let's see, the armor and mod ad, take them. 20, nice. Okay, I just had just the amount. Yeah, take him. Take him, baby. Oh, we're going. All right, so now I'm going to go with Alf. I'm going to tell Alf to pretty much move all the way back to, uh, I guess, the little Hokotate ship, whatever. All right, so you're going to go there. I'm going to, now that you guys are moving, I'm going to continue coming over this way. And then we've got this army of 46 reds. No blacks, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Oh, I need I need a team. I need Alf to come over here. Dang it, dude. Because I need to throw Alf on top of here. And then we're kind of just like now we're we're just waiting for Alf and his teammate to bring that stuff back. But in the meantime, I can just do this. Right? We can go pick up that. We can take that. Meet Alf over here. Um I don't really want to deal with that, but I could deal with this. You guys can pick that one up. Good job, team. Can you guys get him? You can't. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. You can swim for a little bit. You're good. All right. So we can't deal with anything that way. I don't really want to deal with that dumb butterfly, but uh, let's go reunite. With everyone over here and see what's up. Okay, so Alf made it. I, I mean, we got 46. The rest of the team is slowly bringing the stuff. Right? Are they? I don't know. Like, I trust that they're doing work. Yeah, they are. Okay, I can see the I can see the movement on the map. I'm like, I'm trusting that these Pikmin are actually doing their jobs. So it's slowly but surely moving over there. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring Alpha up here. Or not. Okay, I'm going to bring Alpha up here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna bring Alpha up here with a whole bunch of Pikmin. 
And then we're gonna go elf. Uh huh. There we go. So this is like a little puzzle that we have to do over here. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, here we go. Recovering. Oh, we got it. Okay, this is good. So we got the fruit from the previous thing. We're receiving a transmission from Drake. Um, <laughs> it's the telephone. How many guys remember when telephones used to actually look like this? No one, dude. No one remembers that. An ancient communication device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to Kopai, and it's, emit it's emitting a signal even now. Do you actually remember when phones used to... You had to pull out the antenna? <laughs> oh, wow. And you had the dial tone? Right? Wow, what a throwback. Alright, anyway. So, I'm gonna take these kids. We're gonna go over here. I can't take these kids. Um, I need to do something now. I need to play an outweighing game, pretty much. And then, somehow I need to get over here. But I don't think I could do this yet. Yeah, because I can't get Brittany up there. I don't have- I don't have Charlie, so I can't really do anything with this. This is kind of lame. I don't know what that was. Well, let me try again. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this one more time. So, let's do this. Bring this down. We're gonna throw Alf up there. With a couple Pikmin. And then I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of Pikmin over here to weigh it down. And then I'm gonna do switch over. I don't know what that was, but... And then Brittany is gonna switch over here, throw a couple more Pikmin to weigh this down. If I had three people, I think I could do this puzzle. Hey, come on! Because I'm 15 versus 12. Alright, that's fine. What is that? Oh, it's just an area to lock on. Yeah, okay, fine. I thought that was like an item that I needed. Forget it. We're good. We got ourselves another piece of fruit. I think, I think we're good with this day, man. I don't really want to waste a day. But let's go follow up with our teammate, right? I got 38 on the field right now. We could actually look at the map, too. Are there any unexplored areas? I've got some gates. Uh, we went over here. This is where we got the entirety of the boss. And we got this brand new gate that I can't reach. I can't reach this. We can't go through this gate because we don't have yellows. We can't go over there. And then uh, I guess we didn't go this way, right? We didn't go this way. So, and then there's another gate over here, which is kind of where we're at. So, anyway. All right, what's up, team? Let's go. I got to make sure I'm going the right way. Let me see. I'm going to go here, right? Hold on. The orientation of this map is a little interesting to me. I'm going to now... Where was that? Yeah, I can't beat these gates because I don't have the yellow Pikmin. I'm gonna try this. No, I'm, I'm actually right here. Yeah, there's nothing else I could do over here. There's a stray Pikmin though. Yeah, it's just cinder blocks, so... I don't know, you guys think we could do anything or should we just end the day? I think it's a waste of a day to be honest. Like, I don't have anything else. There's one stray Pikmin floating around somewhere. I don't know, I'm, I'm not really seeing a way. I don't see a way to go, but I might, I'm losing one Pikmin here, and that's fine. I'm like thinking about this map. There was nothing over here, nothing there. I think this, I'm gonna have Brittany go over there. Here, watch, we're gonna separate Brittany. I'm going to switch over to her, and then I'm gonna have her explore this area when she's here, because I think there's one stray Pikmin that I maybe left over there, I don't know. But Brittany's gonna go over there, and then we're just gonna kinda look around. All right, 
I'll take any suggestions. What do we have uh, other than... Other than just kind of farming some Pikmin for the day. I think it's honestly, uh, the day is gone. Because I can't, I can't do anything about that gate. Because we don't have yellows. It's really nothing for me to do, man. I'll go see what Brittany's got, and then we'll probably end the day. Yeah, there's nothing to do. But, Brittany, you tell me when you're there, girlfriend, and we'll go. I mean, I can farm some of these. I mean, that can work out fine. Whatever, we'll get a couple more uh, rock Pikmin. And, uh, I mean, we could eat some more nectar to get our Pikmin a little bit stronger, but, like, there's really nothing else, at least that I'm seeing. Yeah, I mean, I can't really do anything in here. At least I don't think. Let's just, let's see what's up. Alright, anyway. So, wait, wait, Alf, yeah, I have Alf. Brittany's gonna go take a look at the other side. And we'll see what's up. <laughs> we got some Pikmin just chilling out here. This is great. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay, so there's four on the map now. Like, where? Where are they? I probably missed a, a bunch of little dudes. Like, yeah, I can't mess around with this because we don't have blue Pikmin. Yeah, there's nothing, man. She said she's ready? Alright, if she's ready, then we'll see what's up. This was one Pikmin. <laughs> I knew there was one behind. That's so funny. Alright, so she did find one Pikmin. This is good. I'm going to tell her to now meet me somewhere. You could just go over here. You could just meet me hanging out over this way. Yeah, I think we really have to just end the day. There's nothing happening, so... It was unfortunate that we really just needed a quarter of a day in order to get our our uh, our stuff, you know. So the question is now, where are the four in the field that I somehow lost? Oh my gosh, I don't know, man. And I don't want to waste time finding them either. Like we need to just go. <laughs> Where are they, guys? Like, usually you would see, like, a little red dot somewhere. Oh, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea where they are. Brittany? I honestly think they're already in the cavern with the Maw Dad or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, how do you, how do you find the, uh, how do you find the stray Pikmin that you left over here? Yeah, let me know. Call from the ship and they'll come to you? Is that right? Uh, I don't know about that. Call or return. Go to your ship underneath and then what? You just all deposit them in there? Mm. There's four in the field. No, that's what I'm trying to say. Um... Oh, you're talking about the ship, not the onion. Okay, okay, hold on. Call Pikmin not in the squad closer to the onion. Or creatures attack them. Let's check the radar. Well, here's one. Interesting. So that's the ship. Uh, let's see, check the ra I don't know. Hey, hey, little guys, <laughs> where's your buddy? Where's the final one? Oh, is that the final one that Brittany has? Oh, good. Okay, okay. We're set. We're set and ready to go. Alright, uh, good. I was honestly, like, worried. I didn't know that was a thing. Was that a thing in the Wii U, too? And then how do you end the day? Can you end the day? Can you end the day prematurely? Pikmin info. Activate camera. Oh, here we go. Just press menu and end day. Okay, cool. I think that was relatively easy, right? Like, there was nothing else for us to do there. So, it was unfortunate. Um, it was unfortunate that we had to go in there just for like a quarter of the day. 
And I feel that like if you optimize day one, day two, like really, really well, you could have gotten everything in that. But whatever, we had to waste the provision, but we got a lot of stuff, right? We got a brand new fruit, we got the phone. We got a lot of other things too. And I love that feature. I love that feature of just like mass whistling and then all the stray Pikmin, I don't have to go and find them. That's really cool. I hope that like by doing that, they don't get stuck on like a ledge or something like that. All right, well, what do you guys say? Another day? Another day, another Pikmin? Let's go. That is a lime. Uh, fire breathing feast. This is a dragon fruit. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, we are on day four now. I think day four is gonna be good because we have to go back and find, what's his name? Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, we gotta go find Charlie. Fire breathing fruit. It's a zest bomb. Don't you dare call it a lime. A zest bomber. Ah, good coffee. So we still have not lost a single Pikmin. Like, we're doing well. Dragon fruit's actually pretty good. Have you guys ever had a dragon fruit before? It's fun. It's very fun. Okay, here's day three. All right, we got a bunch of Pikmin in the phone and then some more juice. So let's do day four. And we should be good to go. We recovered the communications device that was inside the armored Maw Dad. According to Alf, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communication range. I've never seen him so excited. I, uh, he can't tear himself away from the thing. I'm more happy to write today's report while Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent. I love Brittany, she's great. And the writing in this game is actually really cool too. Like, local localization team did an amazing job, truly. This game's old. This game's older than some of you. <laughs> but still. All right, exploration. Day number four. Welcome, everyone. Hi. Let's -a go. All right. So, Garden of Hope is done. And now that Garden of Hope is done, we have uh, a new area called Distant Tundra that we can go look at. So, let's go find Charles. Brilliant, Alf. You expanded the Drake's receiver range. Aw, oh, thanks. They don't call me the keen engineer for nothing. Nobody calls you that. I know. <laughs> oh, shut down. Oh, uh, anyway, the origin of the original signal is unclear. Maybe it's the captain. We should investigate this at once. Good idea, Alf. Let's do it. All right, let's go. So there's really nothing to do over here. We could go back to Tropical Wilds, but our best bet is to go over here to Distant Tundra. Day three, Distant Tundra. I mean, day four, Distant Tundra. Okay, find the captain. We got seven days worth of stuff, so we're gonna be all right. And now we're gonna get some of those awesome yellow Pikmin. Now remember what I told you guys earlier, the yellow Pikmin are resistant to the electric fences. We can finally break those things. And remember, we had like three or four electric fences in the previous area, so that'll open up some more pathways for us. Oh, my face, Elf, are you okay? Elf, I said, are you okay? Oh no, don't tell me we've been separated again. Oh great. Well, it's too dark in here. Well, I don't have any Pikmin, but there's five in the field, so let's find them. Yo, what's up dudes? They're just getting electrified. What are these Pikmin doing? I don't know what the heck they're doing. They're doing something silly. Give me these boys. All right, time to pluck these guys. So now we have Fiverr, and then we should be able to put these five over here and then get the electric flowing. And we got a little light bulb, a double A battery, and a 20 pound ball. It was good. So now we start from scratch again. We have five Pikmin, we could throw the pellet pellet. So that equals two and two. And then, uh, yeah, we should have a lot more, like niner. All right, Niner, I don't want to get shocked. I don't know if you can. They can conduct electricity. Okay, this is good. Let me pluck over here. Oops, that's not a pluck. One, 
two, three, four, and then we should have two more. I'll wait for these two and then we'll go. One, two. Okay, big squad. We got big squad numbers here, squad goals. All right, I'm not gonna go up there yet because we need our buddy. So I'm not gonna beat up these shrooms either, but I'm gonna collect this log. Yellow Pikmin can be thrown very high up into the air. Really? How high? Okay, that's very high. Okay, that's five. Here's one for that. And then here's one for this. And then this is a geyser. Oh, a hot spring. Wee! All right, shortcut. All right, great, great. This is good. So we've got a lot of guys coming. I'm going to try to give you a hand so you're a little faster. Give him a hand, boy. Thank you. Did you help him? Where did you go? Help him. Go faster. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what this iron ball is going to do, but we should be alright. We should have 20 now, right? We got 20 in the field. Iron ball should be able to fall down and do something. What 19? What actual 19? Where? You! What are you doing, guy? How did you get up there? <laughs> get him, boys! I was gonna say, what 19? Must be out of your mind. Alright, let's go. Let's go inside here and see what's- Oh, there's- there's an item in here, right? Oh, what 19, man? Do, 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 do. All right, whoo! It's good to be outside again. I was getting claustrophobic in that cave. You were? Oh, well, I'm sorry. Yo, Alf! Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, there's Alf and the SS Drake. Alf, pick up the phone. <laughs> Love this. Ah, Brittany, thank goodness you're okay. I see you're on the other side of the river. Cute boy. That's my child right there. Our first priority is to reunite, so let's work together. Please give me instructions. What a good kid. Got it! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This place is absolutely freezing. If we don't move, I'm afraid we're gonna die of exposure. What? That is, if we don't die of starvation first. Uh-huh. Well, here's the days. The days are here. Brittany, what are those? <laughs> some shoes? You got some new shoes? Yes, they're yellow and they have big ears. Oh my gosh, they took me! Get them, boys! Get them, boys? Yeah, go take that back to the Drake. I don't even know where the Drake is, to be honest. Where are, oh, they're gonna- they are gonna take it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here's this thing. From here, you should be able to throw them to the other side. Okay. Uh, well, I want to see what Alf is doing. Do you have anything going on, Alf? You need some Pikmin. Uh, Pellet Posey. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Great, great, great. Uh, yes, yes, yes. This is Yellow Pikmin are shock resistant. Uh, that's great and all, but I need, like, one Pikmin, though. Can a guy get a Pikmin so I can start building an army? No, I'm not going to get a single Pikmin. Not a... Not a lot of... Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Here we go. Brittany, what you got, girl? We're still beating up on this thing. We also have the po uh, the Pikmin. I was going to call them Pokemon. We have the Pikmin inside the cave. We also didn't go to the other exit of the cave, too. Which is one of the things that I didn't... There was like two exits in here. So let's see what's up. While those Pikmin are breaking that thing, I'm going to go pluck these guys. And we're going to take a look at this outside area right here. And just kind of multitask and see what's going on. Was this the exit? Oh, there's a fiver in here? Okay. And then here's a little brick. Oh, yeah, I did not go here for, like, even more of these dudes. Okay, so I got ten guys chasing that. Is there not another area? Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, that was just a fiver. And then we can't go over here because we don't have Alf. So once we throw Alf, we should be all set there. So that should be five. Alright, and then we should be good to go see what's going on with that gate. Alright, let's see. It's gate time, baby. Slide down, children. Come with me if you want to live. 
All right. So we now have the gate, which is done. We can beat up these little tadpoles if we want to, but like, it's not worth it. Not right now, at least. Okay, we got another fiver pellet. Yellow Pikmin are good at digging. Okay, thank you for telling me that. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? I'm not ready for that. Can you even touch that? I don't think they can. We need a Crystal Pikmin. Or we need a Bomb Pikmin or something. Watch out, boys. Oh my gosh, I, I literally dodged a bullet there. Oh my gosh, don't get crushed! Ugh! <laughs> What's happening? Get him! Alright, alright, so those fivers are going there. I can't do anything with this wall. I feel a warm breeze coming from in here. Oh, you can dig here, yeah? Dig, boys! You guys got this? All right, so I can't break that. We're gonna dig through here. Maybe we're gonna find some bombs or something. Oh! What else are we looking for? Oh, I can throw some Pikmin over here to Alf. He could do some work. Okay, so that's great. I didn't realize that I could throw some Pikmin over that way. What a waste of time. All right, you guys keep digging. We're gonna go to Alf, and then I'm gonna multitask here. Okay, so Alf has a little baby army. His baby army is gonna need to do some work in order to bring some Pikmin to life. So let's focus on bringing our... our Pikmin up. Boosting, oh gosh, I overshot that one. <laughs> He can't do anything because he's trying to bring it, he's trying to bring it to the, um, the yellow. He's trying to bring it to the yellow, so I can't really do anything with that. Alright, so I'm gonna cancel him. I'm gonna say, hey, chill. Don't worry, dudes. Okay, so these guys are good at digging. So we're gonna find out what they're gonna dig for. I think they're gonna dig for a bomb of sorts. And once they're done digging... I'm gonna take a look at Brittany. Like, you did digging over here? Okay, so you're good there. I can't do anything with that. But I'm gonna bring these all to Alf and see what Alf can do. Yeah, this is good. This is absolutely good. Oh, look, look. Oh, gosh. No! Alf! Oh, you guys can make it? Oh, gosh, that was so bad. I'm like, dude, did I just make them all die right now? All right, so now Brittany... I'm gonna have you go back to the ship. Brittany's ship is right over here. I'm gonna have you go over there, and then I'm gonna go Alf. Alf should be able to then grab all these little dudes that dug. Where do they go? Where do my friends go? Oh, they're all over here. What do they do? I gotta have them just break some stuff. Okay, you've arrived, excellent. So I'm just gonna have all these guys start breaking these fences. Okay, you start breaking that. I'm gonna see what Brittany's got. Brittany's got a whole bunch of teammates. Okay, you got a whole bunch of teammates. Let's head back. Um, let's bring Brittany all the way over to this spot right here. Alf can watch these dudes break that. We can dig over here too. Actually, I'm gonna have them dig because they're good diggers. And then I think we should be set. I can start breaking through the other side. There's a lot of things. Okay, so you're here, excellent. Now what? Throw these kids over. A lot of teamwork is needed for sure. All right, excellent. So they dug this hole, what was the point? What was the point of that hole digging? All right, I don't know, but here, we're gonna take some of you guys to keep at this. And then my squad of Fiverr is going to be able to... Dude, where are the rest of my teammates? Oh, they're here! I just dug a little shortcut through the hole. That's what it happened. Okay. All right, anyway. So we got 14 of those dudes working there. I have some of you guys that were just chilling over here for some reason. I don't know why or how you got there. 
So now these guys are going to be breaking that thing. In the meantime, there's a cherry here that I can somehow bring. But I have to find another way around. And there's a cherry. I got to keep that in mind. There's also my little onion. Can I take these? I can take these guys out! What am I doing, man? I forgot. Dude, I actually, I legitimately forgot here. So this is fine. Check this out. We got a lot of work to do now. Alf could have been doing all this work, man. Alf could have been absolutely doing so much work by getting these other dudes out. But that's okay, you know what? And that's part of the optimization concept. Is, like, now we're here. We know what we need to do. Um... You guys can help out with that. Is this a shortcut? Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, it's a shortcut. Okay, cool, cool. That's fine. We got a whole bunch of dudes. Uh, other than that, there's a lot of multitasking I could do right now. Like, I can put some dudes inside the ship. I can go straight through here. Yellows are all here. Let's see. Oh gosh, oh gosh, help me. Okay, so you guys can do that. My, oh my goodness, that was so scary. Okay, this is good, this is good so far. There's a lot of things happening, oh my gosh. Anyway. Attack him from the back. Okay, wow. Little scary, oh my Pikmin fell, no, get him. I gotta save my Pikmin! I got skewered, dude. Attack! Oh my gosh, so scary. There's a lot happening right now, man. What happened to you? What's wrong with the Pikmin? They're panicking. Maybe the whistling at them will calm them down. Okay, I don't know where you are and how you got in the water. But you should be all set. Okay, so this- Oh no! One died! Oh no! Ah. Can you get that cherry? Another red died too. No! My little guys! Everyone. It happened. Okay, so you guys can do that work right over this way, right? Thank you. Dude! <laughs> I see these little, like, ghosties happening, and I'm like, what is happening here? I'm sorry, what is going on in here? I just fed a Pikmin out, and it changed the color. Oh, I don't want to do that. There's a lot happening up here, boys and girls. What is going on? Dude, a lot just happened in two seconds right there. Like, too much almost. I lost some Pikmin. Ooh. Okay, these change the colors of whatever's going on. I'm not gonna do anything over here. I am gonna pluck this, though. I don't necessarily want to change colors of any of my dudes yet. Okay, we got another fruit that was recovered. Let's do a little shortcut here. These boys are trying to do some work, but... Okay. Lots and lots just happened. Where do we even go from here? Go. You take that carcass back and you tell them. You guys over here, we got that. There's a red guy over there too. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Alright, yellow guys, you dig this out. Okay, you dig that out. We're gonna keep on exploring this way. There's 30 of these. You guys go get that. Oh my gosh, they just walked past that thing. Oh goodness gracious. Um, hello? Children! They're like, I don't care. Whatever, you told us to go. Like, we're building this bridge, man. Like, it doesn't matter. 
Oh my gosh, my children. Look at all these kids. All right, we got to go do some stuff, man. Yo, this day is insane. Yellow, let go of that. I'm going to opt to get more rock Pikmin just so that I have them. See, like, normally you'd be like, all right, you only want the gray ones to go with the gray ones and et cetera, et cetera. But I'm like, no, I need, I need the other ones. Okay, so I'm going to go beat up this thing because he's electric and... Okay, bridge should be set now, right? I should get a cutscene for a bridge. Take him back, boys. Alright, take him back. Uh, I have one more rock Pikmin. I mean, we're doing a lot of work today. Drink up, boys. Drink up. Alright, let's go. Hello. Whoo! Creep up behind the bearded amp rat to take it by surprise. Yellow Pikmin should be good. All right, excellent. I still don't know what we're doing with Brit. I mean, I could do a couple things with Brittany. Like here, take a couple Rockies. Brittany can come over here and we can break this geyser and then start doing some work against that guy. But I need my Pikmin to come with. And I need a lot more Rockies to try to beat this thing. I don't think I could do it with three. Whoa, my Pikmin! No! Oh, oh, oh! My little boys! Alright, alright, this is two... No, I can't do it with three. I need an army, man. Okay. <laughs> alright, yo, I heard you need an army. I got you covered, girlfriend. I got you covered. Let's go, Rockies. I heard you needed an army. I got you right now. I think Alf is good for now as far as multitasking, so let's throw over some friends. Okay, there's a whole bunch I can throw there. We're going to then uh, throw over a bunch of yellows. And then I think Alf, I'm going to keep like a small army of like maybe five of these dudes. Okay, so this is good. That's good. I think Brittany can make do with that. And then we should be all set to knock out whatever the heck is up here. And then our day is almost done. Like, I feel we did a lot in today's day. This little guy, he's digging around. Let's see if we can charge him or something. Get him, boys! Nice! We don't necessarily have to bring his carcass back. No, we're here to just beat up these things. Okay, uh, we found a snow sculpture in the frozen tundra. It looks like the face of a middle-aged man, one that I know all too well. The more I look at it, the more I think it looks like the president of Hokutate Freight. Especially that nose. Dead. Okay, beautiful. Whoa, whoa, hey, what? What just happened? I, like, climbed on top of it. Excuse me, Brittany, what are you doing? All right, anyway. I don't need that 20-piece chicken nugget yet. Uh, throw in leaders. You can throw a leader over here. Okay, so we're not ready to do that yet, but I can throw uh, the yellow guys to dig that out and then potentially take the cherry back. So you guys go chill on that. We're going to go over here and beat this bulb orb up with these reds. Can you please just throw these Pikmin on this guy? Oh my gosh, help me. We don't need to take these carcasses back. Absolutely not. Someone got the cherry, which I think you should be fine. We do need to take this. Ooh. Okay, you can take that back. And then with you guys. Hurry up. Okay, good. Good. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Hurry up. Meaning, we made it all the way over here. I don't know where this came from, but you better go get it. Bring it back, boys. And bring it back quick. I need ten of you guys on it. Go. Elf, what are you doing? 
Alpha's not doing anything. Hurry, bring 10 of you guys on it. All right. Launch. I'm missing one piece. Where are you guys going? Oh no, oh no. One piece of the red bridge, where? <gasps> no, where's the red bridge, man? One little baby piece of this red bridge is really just rocking me right now. Dude, that's bad news bears, man. Oh, one got skewered! Oh my gosh, this guy's skewering me! Dude, he's skewering my little children. Unbelievable. Dude, one piece of red bridge though. I got a lot more pieces of red bridge. I needed two more Pikmin to go over here. Ten seconds, man. This is rough, man. Oh my gosh. Yo, my yellows got skewered by these clowns. Where are the rest of the- hold on, hold on. Elf! Go to the ship and call him! Uh-oh. If I can't go to the ship and call him in four seconds, all the stray ones are gonna get left behind! Uh-oh, all the ones that were getting the bridges are now gone, and I lost like 40 Pikmin. <laughs> Mistakes were made, man. Mistakes were made. Yo, I should have not just like rushed them. Like, go build the bridge really quick. We got 10 seconds. That was No, my children! No, they're fine. They're not getting eaten. Don't watch this. Avert your eyes. Ugh. Oh, okay, so learn from the mistakes, folks. Don't allow that to happen. When it says 10 seconds left, just focus on getting your po your Pikmin available. Mamma mia. All right, we're gonna do one more day. We're gonna do one more day for the episode and then we're, we're good. Yikes. Mistakes were actually made. And that's okay, you know what? Live and learn, right? It's the circle of life. Dude, you have to feed the bulb orbs. What? It's the ecosystem. It's the food chain. You have to do it. Yowie, man. Like, it looked like I was missing one tile. Somewhere. I just don't know where. Sorry, Brittany. Just hang on for one more day. I'm crying. I'm crying, man, my children. <laughs> They're just trying to build that, they were just trying to build that bridge. On day five, we lost a lot of friends and we will never forget them. It's okay. Never forget those that perished on today's date. Okay, we followed the captain's signal into a desolate tundra due to for poor visibility. I mishand mishandled the ship and, uh, well, lost control. And Brittany was thrown overboard. Searching for her blizzard-like conditions won't be easy, but I was able to verify that she's safe. All right, search for her in those blizzard-like conditions. You could reset the day, but no, we're not going to do that. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's like soft resetting. I'm like, no, I'm not going to redo the day. What happened, happened, and we're gonna deal with our mistakes. Right, just like in real life. You can't reset the day. All right, Alf. I can't shake the idea the SS Drake's crash was your fault. Uh, I need to talk to the captain, but I'm gonna need Brittany's help to track him down. All right, let's go back to Distant Tundra. This one's going to be the final day of the episode. And then join me on the next live stream very, very soon, where we will jump in and continue on with the game. Okay, we got a lot of work to do and a lot of covered ground, right? We gotta go find Brittany, we gotta go see what's up. Oh, it's Brittany. Morning, Alf. <laughs> I had to sleep outside last night. The area I camped out in seems safe enough, though. The thing is, I'm getting pretty hungry. Oh, sorry, girlfriend. We got you, though. 
So let's find a way to get back together ASAP. All right, we just got to build the bridge. And right now, I'm going to take out my dudes. We're going to take out uh, 30 of these guys. 35. I'm going to take out 30 of these dudes. And then we should be all set and ready to go. All right, so now the bridge is almost there, but I need to go over here and I need to give all these to Brittany. Because I have a feeling that she's missing. Okay, while you're here, take out some yellows. Yeah, we got 30. This is fine. So it's nice nice and even, right? So now that you're here, you can go walking to where Alf is. And then while Alf is over there... See, look at this. This is multitasking at its finest. Like, instead of waiting over here and then doing it, you're allowing her to get a little bit more ground. So this is going to be her entire army. I don't even care right now. Alf's got nothing to do. This is all you, Brit. Okay. Uh, now we're... Don't, don't charge, please. Thank you. Alright, where were we? Where were we? We were trying to get some stuff. So let's break this. Let's go get this bridge. Whoa, hey, help me. There were the two pieces. Thank you. You guys come with. Alright, so those guys are taking those two pieces. You rock Pikmin can come this way. Whoa, whoa, launched. You guys can all come this way. Alright, so these guys go around for the bridge. But I don't think we went over here yet. Beautiful! The bridge is connected! Both of them! Reunited, baby! That's all I needed to do last time. Alright, so nothing we can do over here because I don't have any water Pikmin, so that's a dead end. Uh, there is something on the ledge over here, but we are going to need Elf up there. And uh, a twig. Oh, they're going to pretty much climb that and do something. Okay, one of them, okay. Yeah, whatever, come back down. We'll deal with that later. All right, anyway, I digress. Moving on. So let's go all the way back around. Let's go reunite with Alf. And then now that we're reunited with Alf, we're going to be able to find some spots. Find some spots where, ooh, where we didn't visit before, like that cave. And here's the lemon. And here's Alf. So many things to do. So many things to do now. Fruit recovered. Beautiful. Alf? Okay, I'm here. We got our bridge. We got Alf. Lots to do right now. Okay, recovered the fruit. Let's go Let's go all the way up here, and then we'll see what we can find. Alright, Alfie, Alfie, Alfie. Hi, guys. It's me. Okay, throw an Alf up there. We're gonna charge here. We're gonna go get Alf. I'm gonna take these dudes. We're gonna charge this, and then they're gonna slide on down, or I'm gonna slide on down. And then that's a shortcut to the other side. I can't get that lemon yet because we don't have blue Pikmin. So we're gonna chill a little bit. And those guys are taking that, so we're fine. These yellows are here. We're back. I think this this entire area is now a dead end because I can't really do much there. I don't really need the pellet. Like, I don't really need to farm Pikmin right now. I just wanna go through and find what we can find. So we got 91. Let's go inside this cave and see what's inside. Okay, this cave is interesting. This is where we can get a couple things, right? So I'm going to toss Brittany up here. Uh, no, not here. Give me all this. Brittany, get up there. And then have a, a bunch of these dudes. Okay, now that Brittany's up there. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I may need more Pikmin. Where am I? Oh, gosh. No, I need an army if we're going this way. There's, like, some star thing over here. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know what this is. Uh, but anyway, take the entire team and give it to Brittany and see if she can do work. I wish there was a faster way of throwing these little dudes, right? They're, like, almost getting pushed off. Like, we need an army with whatever the heck is going to happen over here.
I mean, I got I got a lot right now in the squad. I think I'll be okay. Okay, well. Oh, spider! Ah, they got crushed right off the bat. Oh, dude, they crushed all of my guys. Climb. Climb up there, boys. Dude. You good? Get out of the water. Oh, they're getting pushed in the water. Oh my gosh, help me. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can beat this dude because he's going straight into the water and none of my- Oh my gosh, my black Pikmin are getting drowned! I think we're too early. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this right now. No way. I think we're gonna abandon ship. We're gonna cut our losses, man. I don't know what the heck this is. What the heck is this? Dude, he's just chilling in the water, man. We can't. Abandoned ship. I lost half my team. Ugh. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I could not do that. Well, you have to know when to retreat. And that is a time where I'm, where I'm actually going to retreat. Sorry, my guys. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that was kind of rough, man. I'm not gonna lie, that was really rough. The red guys got crushed. You really need just a whole bunch of rock Pikmin and blue Pikmin once we're there. So we got some Kiwis over here. Uh, they're gonna take those Kiwis to where we need to go. I'm gonna take the shortcut and then uh, I'm not gonna abandon you either. That was a little rough. Let's take a look at this map really quick. All right. So map shows that we've done everything over here. There's a 20 piece chicken nugget. I don't think I need it. Um, there is also this. It's like a little, um, like a cave that I can kind of squeeze through. Let's go see what that's all about. We got 49 in the squad. I mean, we got reunited, which is kind of what we were looking for. Oh, I don't have this bomb yet. No, we don't have bombs. So we can go across the bridge. Can't get the lemon. We've already discussed that. We can go over here and get this sparkly thing. So that's fine, but there's something blocking us here. And then there's a whole bunch of fruit over here too. So like we have to explore across the bridge. That's really what we got to do now. So anyway, win some, you lose some. Dang, dude, but we'll be prepared next time. Don't you worry. Take these Kiwis, let's go. My children. All right, now wait until these guys get this Kiwi, so. Okay, so now that we are here, let's take a look and see what we can scan in this particular area. I don't think much. I mean, maybe I can throw Alf up there? No, 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 you can't, sorry. Alf, you're you're such a heavy boy. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You're so heavy, I can't even throw you. All right, that's fine. I can probably get up to that legend a little bit. There was another ship log over here too that I didn't get. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. So, maybe throw these guys up here? No, they don't do anything there. All right, Alf. Whoa, yeah, there's something I could do here. For sure. Uh, let's throw Alf. And uh, let's give him a whole bunch of yellow Pikmin. And there's grapes there, too. Okay, we can do a lot of things. All right, should be enough. Okay, so now that we're here, I'm gonna go say, hey, go get these grapes. You guys got it? Take a grape and go. Okay. Uh, this? What is this? A recorder? Remember when you played a recorder back in elementary school? <laughs> and you learned how to play like hot cross buns? What's this for? It looks familiar. Uh, let's get it back to the Drake to analyze it. Sure. 
We beautiful. All right, so we got a new fruit. Two in the squad. You guys are getting the grapes, and uh, I'm gonna go take this. Okay, swooping snitch bug. Score a direct hit with a rock Pikmin to get it down. Okay, beautiful. That's fine. All right, so we kind of got everything over in this area. It was nice. It's a good. It's a good. Uh, a positive change right now. We got something good that happened. Uh, new fruit recovered. Let's see. You guys need to come down here somehow. I don't know how, and you guys need to stop standing over there and join me. Let's throw Brittany up there. Brittany, how are you getting up there, girl? <laughs> okay. So we got the weird recorder looking thing. Let's see what it is. We're receiving a transmission from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. The dodge whistle. What is this? This is an optional part that adds a dodging feature to the regular whistle. I wonder if these are the same optional extras I saw in that spacesuit shop on Kopai. Well, it's got an instruction manual with it. Dodge feature? Press left or right to roll and dodge. Unavailable when using Joy-Con controller horizontally. Uh, okay. Nice backflip. Cool! I bet that'll get me out of more tight spots. Oh yeah, look at that dodge! Nice! That's actually kind of cool. I don't ever remember doing that. Yeah, I don't know how I'm getting up there yet. We'll figure that out later. Okay, um, I don't know where else we need to go for this day, to be honest. I don't have blues, and I can't beat up that big old monster. So let's kind of look around. Let's kind of look around on our map here. Okay, where haven't we gone? Where haven't- oh, we- oh, we, well, we don't have bombs for this. We can't beat up that monster boss. We can't do this. We haven't the ability to do anything with this. I think we're- oh, I guess we could do this. Like, whatever this orange is, somehow getting up there. Let's see. Like, I gotta do something with this over here. Like, this is some sort of path. We don't need to, uh, we don't need, I think we need bombs for that, no? Let's see. Yeah, you need bombs for this. This is, um, that's the way forward. Hmm. I think I want to go here. And maybe, like, bounce up or something. I got to find a way of getting this lime, and I have to get to find a way of getting this orange, too. A lot of things that are kind of at play right now. Oh, dude, this guy's out of the water. We can go attempt to get him. I don't know if I want to, though. It's it's too risky. Anyway. And I'm wondering why the arrows are pointing that way. Is that what that is? Oh, smat you don't need the bomb. You're right. I'm sorry. You guys are 100% correct. You don't need the bomb. You need that 20 piece. But that 20 piece, guys... I thought that was just a pellet. I looked at it wrong. Ah, oh, ah, oh, you guys are so smart. That is gonna open the way for us. Wow, so that's what the hint was doing. The hint was saying, yo, hey, heads up. It's not a 20 piece chicken nugget, but a 20 piece bomb. How do I, how do I release it? Maybe I gotta go from the other side? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. I'm picking up what you put down. Let's go. All right, ready? Go. Twenty piece chicken nugget. Push it through. Bust. 
Easy. Let's go in. Easy breezy. Let's go. Okay, so we have half the day left. We're not going to lose any more dudes. There's still a lot in the field that are just kind of out and about. And I don't have any reds, do I? I got some reds. Yeah, we can do some reds. Reds have got that. I don't know what's going on over here. Go reds! Go reds! And then we've got some electricity happening over here. Like, I don't need any of these, but I think we're set. Yeah, let's go yellow. Connect the dots. Okay, so there's a lot of things that are opening up for us right now. Well, that's interesting. The strong light causes it to bloom. Okay, wonderful. So now that we have this to bloom, I can throw Alf up here and give him a whole bunch of reds to take the orange. Okay, 10 of those dudes. Okay, six for five, that's fine. And then we got the orange and we're done. Correct? Maybe? I hope I didn't drop any. I did drop some down there, dang it. Ah, no, I don't need those. We don't need the carcasses right now. Like, I need my team. I need my team of Picklemen. And then this? I don't know what this is. How do I break this? I don't remember. How do I get overboard? Huh. And I don't think I could throw Brittany that high. Maybe I'll have to come back to this later. Hmm. Any of you guys remember how to do that part? Let me know. Yeah, yeah, winged Pikmin most likely. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of fruit. I don't know if we can honestly do anything else. So this area over here, we have to find the captain yet. So we went in here, we did all of that. Wing Pikmin does this. Can't go that way. Do you guys know how to get this lime? And then this orange. That's really all we have time for in this episode. There's nothing else. There's a yellow Pikmin just chilling over here in that. Um, I don't really want to go sacrifice any of my dudes to that guy. And then at the same time, like, I don't even know where Charlie is. I don't even know where Charlie's at, man. Yeah, if anything, we could attempt the boss right now. Like, with the rock Pikmin, that's probably what I'm going to need. So we're going to put these guys away. And we're going to take out these boys. Okay, so I also don't need these guys. Oh, because I can't take the yellows. All right, anyway, whatever. Let's go. I got about 37 of these Rockies. We should be all right. All right, let's see. Back into the cave. Is this the cave that I'm supposed to go in? Uh, the cave, the cave. Yes, the cave. Sure. I'm going to try round two against his boss. What's up, yellow? What's up, Rocky? Thirty-eight red, thirty-eight um, Rockies should be enough. Okay, now that we've got that, bring the rocks. We need rocks and blues. Here we go. Come on at me, buddy. Now he's going into the water. Oh, get him, boys! Break his ankles. He's at half health. All right, drink up all this stuff, guys. Drink it up. I don't think that's a plan, man. If he's retreating... 
Come on back! What does this mean? Why did it say Red Pikmin? Get him, boys! They're not doing any damage to him. They're, sh they're getting shaken off. No way, man. Boys! Controller! What do you want to reset this, man? <laughs> Controller! <laughs> Like, I can't reach him. Climb up, children. What are you guys doing here? Go do some work. Oh, there we go. Okay, we did it. We straight did it. And we won! Yeah! Woohoo! We got Starfruit, but I'm not gonna do this right now. Alright. Elf! Where are you, Elf? Oh my gosh, you gotta call in the dudes, man. Oh, this is bad news, Bears. I didn't call in the stray Pikmin. <laughs> Every time, man. There's no way I can make it, but that's fine. Um, there are stray Pikmin somewhere, and I didn't pick them up. I got a little too preoccupied with that boss. I don't know how many we lost, but <laughs> hopefully not that many. Do, 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 do. Excellent, excellent. I think we're good, man. I think we're absolutely good. So, guys, that was episode... Wow, there's only two guys, come on. Only two rocks, they'll be fine. They'll go through the digestive tract and then get pooped out and uh, be a little sprout on the ground. I'll pluck them tomorrow. It's fine, dude. It's the circle of life. Don't even worry about it. We're good. Don't kill trip me. Get owned. <laughs> get owned, man. I'm fine. We have plenty of rock Pikmin. Dun, 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 dun. That was so much fun. Dude, I love this. Look at how much fruit we got today. But I don't know where the captain is. Cupid's grenade. Whoa. Velvety dream drop. See, I mean, you gotta look at the game like glass half full, right? If you leave a Pikmin behind, that's okay. You're helping out the bulb orbs. And the bulb orbs are good. Right? Because they keep the ecosystem under control. So, think about it that way. And we can always grow more Pikmin, so... Don't sweat the small stuff, kid. It's okay. The circle of life, man. Number one Bulborb feeder, right here. That's right. Preserving the species. That's right. You guys didn't even know. <laughs> you guys didn't even know about that. That's so hilarious. Dawn Pustules. A oh, Pustule. That's the worst. That's the worst name of anything. Pustule. Dude, distant, distant Tundra? We still have a lot more work to do. I want to do another day, but like two hours is kind of what I'm looking at right now. I'm going to go get some breakfast and see what's up. You got 10 types of fruit. Nicely done. From now on, we can use the radar to check fruit location. Display the location of fruit, even in areas where you haven't explored. We will have to go back to that boss battle, though. And then just pr bring him back to the to the entire ship. We'll then have to get all those other little fruits, and then we have to find the captain. We have to find the captain. But in about two hours, that's not too bad.
Beautiful, beautiful. We got a lot of fruit on day five, man. Okay, guys, that's gonna be it. We finally completed the bridge over to the other shore and Brittany discovered a type of yellow Pikmin. Besides their big ears, I'm excited to find out what other unique characteristics they may possess. I'll have to observe them closely. Good thing they're so cute to look at. Whew, what a day. Yes. Yes. That was cool. You know, Pikmin 3 is great, man. And look, no judgment from me if you guys lose some Pikmin. It's fine. It's part of the circle of life. I won't judge you. It's okay. I'm so relieved you're okay, Brittany. That was a close call. I never would have made it without those yellow Pikmin. These little guys sure are helpful. If our mission is a success, we should have a party to thank uh, all the little Pikmin. Yeah, let's go. Let's have a party. Okay, guys. Wow, that was fun. That was so fun. All right, well... Thank you so much for watching episode one of Pikmin 3 Deluxe on Nintendo Switch. What did you guys think of the game? Is it fun? Is this a game that you want to essentially play along with? I hope that you do because there's a lot going on, man. There's a lot going on. I want to see what's happening with um, with our like captain. He's somewhere over here. We have half of the fruits on this planet. We can go back to the previous area now that we have yellow Pikmin and then we can just go get whatever fruits are available there. But I have a feeling that the only way that I'm going to start backtracking is maybe if I have, like, all the Pikmin types. I don't honestly remember. But it's a fun time nonetheless. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys aren't already subscribed on YouTube, make sure you guys do so. Uh, join me in, like, the next hour, and we'll get this next episode going for you. I'm, I'm excited, really excited to play this game again. So Pikmin 3 Marathon happening today. I hope that you guys will tune in. Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you guys are going to tune in on all the episodes. I hope you do. But yeah, it's going to be great, man. I got to continuously wake up. Like, I got to get up, man. <laughs> this was early for me. All right, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I will see you guys on the next exciting episode of Pikmin 3. If you guys enjoyed the content, be sure to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you guys know when we go live with the next upcoming episodes. And we're just going to knock this game out. It's not that long of a game. And I think we're doing pretty well so far. Just kind of getting back into the flow of things. Micromanaging. Um, continuously feeding the bulb orbs, remember, which is a good thing. <laughs> uh, it's like, I like to see the glass half full, right? Keep the ecosystem going, right? You're not just going to go over there and like extinct, make everything extinct by destroying them all. No, man, you're good. All right. Anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching and uh, shout out to all of you guys that have dropped a super chat and become a member. You guys are awesome. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Take care.